The movie started showing a village in America. A man just woke up and his name is Cash. Before doing his daily activities, Cash did light exercise to maintain his body's health. Formerly, Cash used to be the right-hand man of the most powerful mafia boss in the village. But one day, Cash decided to repent after his younger sibling died of an overdose. For now, Cash decided to continue the livestock business inherited from his late parents. He's also assisted by his older brother, Finney. Not only that, Savannah, Finney's daughter, also helped this business. Savannah was very close to Cash, her uncle. While Savannah's mother had died in a car accident, then, after they finished feeding all the livestock, Cash invited Savannah to have lunch at one of the cafes in the village. When they got there, Cash and Savannah immediately ate lunch because they were both starving. When Cash went to the toilet, suddenly there were three young thugs who came over to Savannah. Apparently, these thugs were the Mafia's subordinate, Cash's former boss. Not long after, Cash came and immediately asked Savannah to wait outside. Cash asked what those three men wanted until they dared to disturb his lunch. One of them answered that the Mafia boss wanted to talk with Cash to discuss his farm. Hearing this, Cash was a little confused as to why the Mafia boss suddenly wanted to discuss Cash's family's farm. But the thugs laughed and said that Cash should ask Finney, his older brother. Cash quickly rushed home to ask Finney about this matter. When Cash got home, he immediately asked Finney about what the Mafia boss had to do with their farm. Finney finally said honestly that in fact, he mortgaged the land certificate for their farm to the Mafia boss. Finney used all the money to buy animal feed because for the past few months, they had no money. Knowing this fact, Cash was angry because Finney should have mortgaged the certificate to the bank, not to the Mafia. Cash was sure that soon, the Mafia would definitely confiscate their farm. The next day, Cash came to the only son of the Mafia boss, Zeki. Cash asked about the price Finney asked Zeki's father when mortgaging the ranch land certificate. Zeki answered that the amount was so much that he was sure that Cash would not be able to pay it off. However, there was one way to pay off all the debts. Cash had to go to the Mafia boss and negotiate with him directly. At the same time, Finney and Savannah were suddenly visited by uninvited guests. They're the Mafia boss's men. Here, they all forced Finney to pay his debt right now, even though it wasn't due yet. They also didn't hesitate to beat Finney several times and hurt Savannah. After that, Finney was taken out of the house then shot right in the side of his ear so that he felt depressed. After those bad guys left, Cash finally came home and he was very shocked when he saw his brother was battered. Savannah told Cash that she and Finney had just been beaten by the Mafia boss's men. Finney then apologized because he realized that this was all because he had dared to borrow money from the Mafia boss. Cash asked Finney to calm down and he promised that he would sort out all these problems. Not long after that, Cash went to the police station to ask for help from the sheriff. But after Cash told him all the problems, the sheriff and his boss said that they couldn't help because of a lack of evidence. In the end, Cash left and he thought there was no other way but to negotiate directly with the Mafia boss. Shortly, Cash came to the Mafia boss, Big Cat. She welcomed Cash nicely. Here, Cash asked what he had to do so that all of Finney's debts could be considered paid off. Big Cat said that this was very easy. Big Cat wanted Cash to work for her and she would give Cash three jobs. And if Cash succeeded in completing all those three jobs, then all of Finney's debts would be considered paid off. There was no other choice and in the end, Cash granted Big Cat's request. The next night, Cash started working for Big Cat with one of Big Cat's men, Sam. Cash and Sam were watching a house that was suspected of being the headquarters of Big Cat's rival. After that, Cash peeked at the house from a close distance and sure enough, there were Mafia inside and their Big Cat's business rivals. Cash quickly returned to the car and reported it all to Sam. Then, Sam immediately contacted his other colleagues because they were going to attack the Mafia who became Big Cat's rival on this night. Not long after, Sam's friends arrived so they immediately carried out the attack. Easily, Cash, Sam, and the others succeeded in finishing off Big Cat's rival. Cash's first job was considered finished and they immediately went to Big Cat's place to give a report. The next day, Cash confided in a priest 
Welder. It turned out that the priest is Cash's close friend and in the past, he was also Big Cat's subordinate. After Cash told him all of his problems, the priest suggested Cash to be patient and pray to God. The priest was sure if Cash continued to pray, God couldn't just keep quiet. The next morning, Big Cat's men picked Cash up to do his second job. This time, Cash was ordered to sell some kilos of illegal things, which is narcotics, to the dealer who came from Mexico. After finding out the transaction location, Cash and Big Cat's men immediately went there. Upon arrival at the transaction place, Cash and one of Big Cat's men who wore a beanie immediately took out the goods. But at the same time, suddenly one of Big Cat's men actually killed the man with a beanie. Of course, Cash got angry and asked what that man was doing. The man answered that he had always been very fed up with his friend because he always insulted his family. Cash didn't want to have more problems, so he immediately asked that man to clean up his friend's body because soon, the dealer from Mexico would come. After they got rid of the man's body, the dealer from Mexico came with his subordinates. Here, the dealer even asked where the man with the beanie was, because apparently, he didn't want to make a transaction if it's not with the beanie man. Cash tried to lie by saying that the beanie man was in trouble, so they represented him today. But the dealer still didn't want to and would instead cancel the transaction. But instead of having to fail in carrying out his second job, Cash immediately killed the dealer and his men. After that, Cash and Big Cat's man immediately took the dealer's money to deposit it with Big Cat, so the second job was considered successful. A few hours later, Cash was washing the car accompanied by Finney, his older brother. Cash told Finney that he was paying off all of Finney's debts to Big Cat by carrying out three orders from her. Now Cash has successfully carried out two jobs and only has one left. Hearing this, Finney asked if Cash was sure that Big Cat will keep her promise if Cash has finished his three jobs. Cash then answered that he would slaughter them all if Big Cat doesn't want to keep her promise. That afternoon, Cash and Finney were teaching Savannah to shoot. Cash deliberately trained Savannah so that she could protect herself. On the next day, Cash was going to carry out his third job. But this time, he had to move alone. After that, a sheriff came because previously, Cash had asked him to come there. It turned out that the third job was to trap the sheriff so that he could enter Big Cat's headquarters. Big Cat has been targeting the sheriff for a long time because he often gets in the way of her business. Here, Cash pretended to tell the sheriff that he already knew Big Cat's narcotics manufacturing base, and the sheriff could immediately come to that place. After Cash gave him the detailed address, the sheriff thanked Cash because he didn't realize that it was all just a trap. In the evening, Cash was picked up by Sam and one of his friends to come to Big Cat's base. Sam explained that at Big Cat's headquarters, Big Cat was having a party, so Cash had to attend it. At Big Cat's place, all of her men had gathered. They were welcomed well and treated to a meal. Later, Big Cat gave a speech saying that this party was a thanksgiving because their business had increased rapidly. After that, Big Cat invited all her subordinates to move to the next room because she was going to show something. Not long after, Sam appeared, bringing someone in a wheelchair, and his body was covered with a white cloth. When Sam opened it, it turned out that the person was the sheriff who had previously been trapped by Cash. Now the sheriff has been severely tortured and will soon be executed in front of all Big Cat's subordinates. Big Cat and all her subordinates were cheering happily because soon, the sheriff, who was always disrupting their business, would die. Meanwhile, Cash felt very guilty, so he came forward and asked for permission so that he could finish off the sheriff, but not in this place. Apparently, Cash planned to save the sheriff, but unfortunately, Big Cat refused Cash's request. Then, without hesitation, she killed the sheriff. After that, Cash said that all his work had now been completed, so according to the initial agreement, Cash's family had no debt to Big Cat anymore. Hearing this, Big Cat said that the agreement was no longer valid, and if Cash wanted his debt to be paid off, he had to work for Big Cat forever. Hearing the answer, of course, Cash was disappointed because he had been lied to, and he chose to remain silent and left. The scene showing Cash contacted Finney. At this time, 
Cash told Finney that Big Cat had broken her promise. Because of that, Cash asked Finney to go as far as possible with Savannah, because if they still stay in this area, Big Cat would definitely continue to bother them. Meanwhile, Cash planned to massacre Big Cat and all of her men who have lied to him. Knowing this, Finney said that he understood, but before he and Savannah left, they would go to church first to worship, because they already have an appointment with the priest. Not long after that, Cash watched Big Cat's base from a distance. He also wrote a map to remember which locations were not guarded by Big Cat's men. Meanwhile, Finney and Savannah were seen at church, attending morning worship led by the priest, who is Cash's best friend. After finishing worship, Finney and Savannah immediately said goodbye to the priest because today they intended to leave the village according to Cash's order. But when they were about to get into the car, suddenly Sam and his colleagues immediately beat Finney. Savannah could only cry hysterically when she saw her father being completely beaten up. Not long after, the priest came and managed to chase them away. But in this incident, Finney was seriously injured and immediately rushed to the hospital. They did all of this based on Big Cat's orders because Cash didn't want to obey Big Cat's orders. A few minutes later, Cash came to the hospital where Finney was being treated. When he entered the room, Cash was very shocked when he saw Finney had died from bleeding too much. Cash could only hug Savannah and try to calm her down. Cash then met the priest outside the room. Here, Cash asked Wilder to secure the Savannah in his house because at this very moment, Cash would take revenge on Big Cat and her gang. The priest could not forbid Cash and only asked him to always be careful. That afternoon, Big Cat's men were seen consuming narcotics in the car, but suddenly, Cash came to kill them both, and this is his action. After successfully killing them both, Cash immediately left the place. A few minutes later, the bodies of Big Cat's men were being secured by the medical team and also a sheriff leader. Not long after, Big Cat arrived and immediately asked for information from the sheriff regarding the deaths of her men. The sheriff chief answered that it was very likely that they had both been killed by Cash because it turned out that the sheriff found Cash's car key, which had been left behind. At this time, the chief sheriff chose to submit to Big Cat because he did not want to suffer the same fate as the previous sheriff who had been killed by Big Cat. The next day, Sam and his gang came to Wilder's house. Sam asked the priest to hand over Savannah if he wanted to be safe. Apparently, they already knew that Savannah would definitely be entrusted to the priest because Wilder was the only person closest to Cash. Wilder, the priest, tried to lie by saying that Savannah was not here. But unfortunately, Sam didn't believe it and he immediately beat up Wilder. Savannah, who was in her room, finally surrendered herself to Sam so that Sam would stop beating Wilder. Before taking Savannah away, Sam told Wilder that if Cash wanted Savannah to survive, then he had to surrender to Big Cat. Two hours later, Cash went to Wilder's house, and he was very surprised when he heard the news that Savannah had been taken by force by Sam. Here, the priest apologized because he couldn't look after Savannah. Wilder also conveyed a message from Sam asking Cash to surrender if he wanted to save Savannah. Hearing this, Cash begged the priest to help him once again. It turned out that Cash had plans to kidnap Big Cat's only son, Zeki, because that way, Big Cat would definitely want to let Savannah go. After hearing this explanation in the end, Wilder was willing to go back like before in order to help Cash. The two of them immediately went to see Zeki, Big Cat's son, at his office. When they got there, Cash and Wilder were able to kidnap Zeki easily. After that, Cash contacted Big Cat to say that Zeki was with him. If Big Cat wanted her son to be safe, then she must be willing to hand over Savannah. Big Cat didn't want anything bad happen with Zeki, so she finally agreed with Cash and they would meet at 4.00 p.m. at Big Cat's headquarters. After that, Cash had another plan because he realized that Big Cat would never fulfill her promise. Then, Cash asked the priest to take Zeki to Big Cat's place alone, while he would infiltrate Big Cat's headquarters from the back door. Without waiting for anything, Wilder immediately left, tying Zeki to the hood of his car because soon it would be 4 o'clock p.m. Minutes later, Wilder arrived at Big Cat's headquarters, but according to what Cash guessed, 
Big Cat broke her promise and instead held the priest at gunpoint. She also didn't want to let go of Savannah. But Wilder threatened her back and he immediately put Seiki at gunpoint. Meanwhile, Savannah was still tied up and guarded by Big Cat's man. Savannah realized that there was a sharp iron behind her, so she moved her chair closer and then rubbed the bond in her hand against the sharp iron. As a result, Savannah was able to untie herself, then took a gun and immediately shot the man. Hearing the gunshot, Big Cat immediately ordered Sam to check what happened inside. While she and her other men were going to attack Wilder until gunfire broke out, Besides, Cash was still trying to enter the house through the back route by killing the guards there one by one. On the other hand, Wilder was still fighting against Big Cat's men. Here, Wilder managed to kill several of Big Cat's men, but unfortunately, Zeki was able to escape and then attacked Wilder. On one occasion, Zeki managed to shoot Wilder in the arm and Wilder immediately shot Zeki on his leg. With a lame leg, Zeki tried to run away into the forest, but there were two vicious dogs belonging to Big Cat, which immediately attacked Zeki because they smelled blood. Hearing Zeki's screams, Big Cat immediately chased after him. But unfortunately, Zeki had already been eaten by Big Cat's vicious dogs. On the other hand, the priest was having a gunfight with one of Big Cat's men until in the end, the priest managed to finish off the person, but he also had to be hit by gunfire. Then, the scene moved showing Cash who had managed to get into the headquarters and tried to save Savannah who was being chased by Sam. In the end, Cash succeeded in killing Sam in this way. Cash then met Savannah and he immediately asked Savannah to leave. But unfortunately, when Cash was about to leave, he met Big Cat causing another shootout. Here, Cash asked Savannah to get out of the window while he continued to withstand the attack from Big Cat alone. Quickly, Savannah obeyed what Cash said and then went out through the window. Meanwhile, Cash was already weak and his gun had run out of bullets. He could only surrender and was held at gunpoint by Big Cat. However, when Big Cat was about to finish Cash, this is what happened. It turned out Savannah didn't want to leave because she chose to help her uncle, Cash. In the end, Cash managed to finish off Big Cat along with all her accomplices. A few weeks later, Wilder, the priest, was giving a lecture in the church. It turned out that he also managed to survive because the shot from Big Cat's man only hit his arm and shoulder. Meanwhile, Cash and Savannah continued to take care of their farm. From now on, their life will be much more peaceful because no one will disturb them anymore. Then, the film ends.